Hello, senior class of 2020. Um, happy graduation week to all of you. Uh, I know that this is kind of a strange time for you and um, I just want you to know that campus ministry is accompanying you in prayer, um, sending our love, sending our best wishes this week um, and hoping that you really will uh, celebrate to the fullest in all sorts of ways, um, even with the limitations of not getting to graduate at this pro present moment in the ceremonial sense. Um, I know that you will be um, coming together eventually and we look forward to rejoicing with you there. And we are rejoicing with you now um, and, and celebrating your achievement uh, this week. So my name is Christy Hicks, for those of you who do not know me. Uh, I have met many of you and been blessed um, to connect with many of you over these last four years. Uh, my primary work is in Grand Hall. I also, for many of you, started in Grisadec Hall when you were first year students, and I am on the Med campus as well, but I have been you know, doing a variety of retreats and different experiences over the last several years. Um, so I'm here really to lead you through uh, something familiar to many of you, probably in this in your Jesuit education these last four years, which is um, a senior exam. Um, so though it might be familiar to some of you, maybe for others of you it is not. So I am gonna just talk a little bit about what we mean by examine. Um, examine is different than examination of conscious, a conscience. So there's um, something called the examine of consciousness, which is what we're talking about here, and the examination of conscience, which is what people typically do when you're kind of experiencing and getting ready for reconciliation. Um, but an important distinct, distinction here is that um, the examine is really a review, it's often called the Ignatian review of the day. Uh, and so the Jesuits uh, were encouraged by Ignatius, who kind of began this way um, many years ago in the 15 and 1600s, um, were, were really encouraged to just look at and remember uh, what did they do today? Uh, what, what was it that took place in their day and how could they, in the light of prayer and relationship with God, because it's the Society of Jesus, how do they, um, how, how do they remember their day with gratitude, with love, um, and really with a little bit of assistance from God in just looking at what the gifts had, have been um, and a little bit more of an awareness. Um, so it, a way to think about this that really is kind of cool is that you've already lived through the day, right? You've already lived through the last 24 hours, the last, you know, if you're sleeping for part of that, but the last, the last bit of time. And so you've already done it once. Um, and what you're doing though, at the end of the day is you're, you're recalling it to mind intentionally again. Um, and then what might emerge through all of that is a little bit, um, of, of a surprise. You might be surprised by what you see there. Okay, well, I lived through that, but I didn't fully see it um, in that moment. And so that intentionality to kind of go back through your day um, and your present moment as you're kind of recalling it because it just happened, you take that present moment and, and you, you really, what ends up erupting sometimes is a little bit of a surprise. Oh, wow, you know, that happened. I mean, it's, it's your own life, right? You've experienced it already. Uh, but what this practice does is it helps you to even deepen how you've, how you've seen your day. And so um, I always think about the examine as an act of remembrance and gratitude. Uh, and, and so, and another way you might think about it is you're, you're kind of pulling up your buried treasure of the day. So um, like as if you had, you know, God had buried something in your day, which you couldn't fully see. And then you can kind of pull it up and like look at it. And so, uh, and to savor it a little bit, the gems, the delights, the goods, the wonders. 
um, a good friend of mine, I was talking to her several years ago, just in general, probably about my own spirit, what was happening. And uh, a piece of Ignatian spirituality that I really absolutely love is the experience that you use the imagination a lot. Um, but we were talking about memory and she's a mother of three. And as she was sharing, one of the things that she said to me is how cool it is that the first time you can experience great joy um, in the experience, but as you remember some of the things that have happened in your life, you, you also can experience the same level of joy. Um, that you did the first time. And so maybe this is just this practice that we're going to do now is what I'm calling a senior exam. It's a little bit different uh, than the daily exam, which you might do at the end of every day. The, the Jesuits do it twice a day at noontide and after supper or right before bed. Um, and anyone who's practicing the exam and they do it daily or weekly or monthly, whatever has worked for you or is working for you. But this is really an exam that's taking a look at the last four years that you've been here um, going to St. Louis University and what are the gifts that have emerged, who are the people, um, how has God been here, where is God absent? So that's kind of what we're gonna be doing. Um, and just the last thing about the exam before we actually go into it is, it's the end of the exam, and there's always this like this call to renew and reminding ourselves that each day is really truly a gift. Um, and so we're just kind of coming into the awareness of what has been the gifts, what have been the gifts that you've been blessed to have these last four years. So we're just going to start, if you will. Um, by just kind of reminding ourselves that God is present here. Um, God is always, always present with you, but we have to sometimes remind ourselves of God's presence. So you might just take a deep breath or two or three, um, calling in the presence of God. You might do the sign of the cross, um, if that is a practice that you have um, as a Catholic um, person or as a Christian person, you might just simply do um, a bow, namaste, and the, um, really the Indian tradition, um, but to reminding yourself that God is present to you, that you are being present to God, and that God is um, in that exchange between us. Uh, if you just want to take a moment to come into God's presence, and we will begin. This exam is three parts. Where have you seen God? Where did you miss God? And who are you thankful for? So where have you seen God? What are the experiences that have allowed you to grow? And what have been the moments of consolation? in these last four years at SLU. Who are the people who have supported you in your relationship with God and in your time at St. Louis University? Who have been your mentors or your spiritual friends? Who has set examples for you? And who has been Christ-like for you? Who has been an image of God? for you, the face of God. So though these last few months in particular, this last chapter of your journey here at St. Louis University has been unusual, notice what gifts you have been granted during this time of pandemic.
And how are these gifts inviting you as you move into whatever is next for you on your journey? So the next part is where did you miss God? Where did you miss God these last four years? Were there any difficult moments in your life, your time at SLU, in which you missed God or felt that God was absent? What were some of these struggles? What have been some of the moments of consolation? Who came to you in the midst of struggle? And how did you work through some of those struggles? Were there moments in which you felt abandoned or ignored by God? What did that feel like for you? What was that like for you? Were there distractions in your time at SLU that might have caused you to miss God at times? And were there any people or objects that you might have put before God? In recalling any of these moments, is there anything God might want you to know or that you might you want to say to God? What do you want to say to God about these moments? So who are you thankful for? This is the last section of the exam. We now want to take some time to recognize what you're grateful for from these past four years. And in particular, which relationships are you grateful for? Who comes to your mind? Who comes to your heart? Again, what are some of the joys that you have had over these last four years with the people that you've known? Um, and likewise, what are some of the struggles that you might have worked through well? Uh, but also we're human, right? Not all struggles we've worked through well, and that's, that's okay too, but what has that taught you? Um, has anything surprised you? about who you know now versus your first year? Um, and what has challenged you the most in these last four years? Um, or who has challenged you the most in these last four years? And can you note some of the changes in you? I've learned uh, through the years, I know this is still an exam, but I'll just briefly share this, that we, um, People are change, people change us, um, and that's really beautiful. So has any encounter really changed you? Think about the friends you've made in your time here. Maybe some of them were on your floor during your first year and you've been friends ever since. But maybe there are others that you just met this year or this semester even. Um, and what 
has emerged? What are the gifts that have been present there and in, in that relationship, even the very new one, the new ones? You might even be wondering about what is this? That's okay too, that's part of our journey. How have your friends supported you? What have they taught you? What are the inside jokes you have with them? And how have they made you a better person? So this concludes the examine that uh, we had for you um, from Campus Ministry. I'm also going to give you just an optional exercise. Um, when this examine was written, um, it was written, um, it's been adapted for you, of course, but it was written for um, the senior retreat in previous years. And a part of their exercise, an exercise that they were asked to do was, um, since you're also kind of in this time looking at who has been God to you over these years um, and who has been gift to you. Um, so if you want to fast forward this, that's fine. I'm going to just close with a closing prayer at the very end. Um, but I invite you, if you will, just to think of like whoever like maybe most came to mind uh, in this last part of the exam and um, somebody that you deeply love and who has been truly gift for you these last years, uh, maybe you can write them a note uh, via email or a handwritten note or even a poem or a song or whatever you feel most compelled to do. But I think that some one of the ways in which we really are become light for our world is that we share um, who we are with others. And also, like, it's always been really, um, for me, I, it always goes directly to my heart when someone shares an experience or a memory or something um, about me that they've truly loved um, and honored and it has inspired them. So I know that many of you have been touched by many people um, and maybe it's even hard to pick one, but um, if you could hone in on one person who has really been a gift to you these last years or months or whatever um, and take the time to even just write them a short note or an email um, I just encourage you to do that because I know that you are a gift to them and they are a gift to you. And sometimes just to take the time to, to acknowledge that is a is, uh, gift shared. So to, to practice doing that in our lives, I think is a beautiful thing too. So let us pray. May the God of surprises delight you, inviting you to accept gifts not yet imagined. May the God of transformation call you, opening you to continual renewal. May the God of justice confront you, daring you to see the world through God's eyes. May the God of abundance affirm you, nudging you toward deeper trust. May the God of embrace hold you encircling you in the heart of God's home. May the God of hopefulness bless you, encouraging you with the fruits of faith. May the God of welcoming invite you, drawing you nearer to the fullness of God's expression in you. May God who is present be with you, awakening you to God in all things, all people, and all moments, may God be with you. Always. Amen. Uh, so Senior Class 2020, thank you so much for all that you've been for us in campus ministry. We wish you the best. Have a blessed graduation um, celebration in whatever form that takes. Um, and hopefully it'll be a celebration throughout this year. We love you and we will miss you and we very much look forward to seeing you in person again someday soon.